take a second here, take a moment to think about your struggles. Greg Jones teaches much more than just English at Taft High School. I, I love my kids. They're my kids. They're not my students. They're my kids. I love them. They love me most of the time. He's focused on getting his students ready for life. The conversation is uh, be successful, try hard, and then try harder. Uh, you're going to be faced with many adversities. It doesn't make a difference. Meet the challenge, overcome the challenge. Which tie you think of with that blazer? As a part of their Jobs for Cincinnati Graduates program, students like Dejuan Bergen and Ramon Davis are required to wear business attire for interviews and competitions. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then it was times that I couldn't even afford it, so I had to try my best to find some. But like me, most of the, our senior class didn't even own like formal wear or business casual. Goes down to the hole. Jones donating from his own closet wasn't enough anymore, so he rallied his Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated brothers for help. I'm bringing like five dress shirts and four ties because someone helped me when I was growing up, so it's my part of giving back. I kind of like this bow tie. Despite placing first in a recent competition, Davis has only had one outfit to compete and interview in. I've been flipping my that one suit or the one the one outfit around different ways just so I can just look professional. Something as simple as giving a hand with a shirt and tie is setting these young men up for success. You look good, buddy. Making students like Bergen and Davis's future that much brighter. It makes me feel great because then nobody in my family ever had a chance to go to college. So it's like it's my turn. So I, I need to step up. Teachers and administrators here at Taft High School will continue to take professional clothes donations. If you're interested, just call Taft High School and ask for Miss Summerlin or Mr. Jones. Reporting at Taft High School, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.